20 facts about Shang-Chi, new Marvel movie what is right now in the cinema and you can watch it on the Disney Plus. So here we go! First comics about Shang-Chi was inspired nobody else than Legends of the Kung Fu Bruce Lee. Way before the MCU were the thing that it is today, which is a major deal. It was offered to Brandon Lee, the son of Bruce Lee, actually was meant to play Shang-Chi back when it first became an idea. But sadly, it never got to realization and Brandon Lee died sadly in 1994. And now it's gonna be a movie in the MCU. Shang-Chi don't need any superpowers because he, like a master of the Kung Fu, can fighting with the mutants with the god of war Ares and also he can catch the bullet from the machine gun or he can be super fast just when he focus on his chi. Captain America knows a lot of martial arts and he even though he's old as Avenger he has to push himself hard to keep up with Shang-Chi. Shang -Chi is not a complete Asian guy, he is half. His father is typical Asian guy, but his mom was a white American woman and they pick up her from the older women on the world like a science project for be a perfect mom. Shang-Chi's father in the Marvel movie is listed as Wen Wu. But in the original comics, his name was Fu Manchu. But this character was very racist Asian. So Marvel lately changed this character, like one from the alias from Ben Boom. A development on the movie Shang-Chi started in the 2001. DreamWorks was actually developing Shang-Chi in 2003, but when the realization never came happen, the rights for Shang-Chi became back into the Marvel Universe. Organization The Ten Rings. We saw it in the first MCU movie Iron Man from 2008, and here was like a leader, a Mandarin, which you can see it later in the Iron Man 3. In the comics books of Shang-Chi, you can see a 10 rings, each one have a specific power. But in the movie, you can see a 10 bracelets. In April of 2019, the art minister of Australia and the Marvel film producer they announced that they were gonna be recording a Marvel film in Australia in the Fox Studios and this film is actually believed to be Shang-Chi. Production reserved 17 million dollars from the Australian government and also 7 million dollars from New South Wales State Fund. The production was expected to generate for, the Austral for Australia 107 million American dollars and 4,700 jobs. So that's a big deal. The New South Wales Minister confirmed in July 2019 that the film that was gonna be recorded in Australia was gonna be Shang-Chi and that it was gonna be recorded back to back with Marvel Studios Thor, Love and Thunder, the love of my life. We will all expect it in 2022. Production on the Shang-Chi was said to be a complete before it began on the Love and Thunder 2020. Shang-Chi and the Legends of the Ten Rings had its world premiere in the Los Angeles on the 16th of August 2021. It was released in the United States 3rd of the September in the 4,200 theaters 
400 IMAX over 850 premium large format 1500 3D and this movie Shang-Chi you will not see in the Disney Plus that after 45 days will in the cinemas and theaters Shang-Chi and the Legends of the Ten Rings earned 8.8 .8 million American dollars from a Thursday midnight previews. This was a second higher previews after COVID-19 epidemic. First is from the Marvel Universe, of course, Black Video with 13 million American dollars, of course. Shang-Chi and Legends of the Ten Rings is actually a first Asian superhero and movie thank you so much for watching on this video about 20 packs shang chi don't forget to put likes subscribe share with your friends and follow us on instagram so enjoy your day and don't forget subscribe like <laughs> share with the <your> friends <laughs> bye bye